In this video, we're going to cover Anderson and Udina's easy to miss post-mission dialogue from Mass Effect 1. We'll explore all variations depending on Shepard's decisions and dialogue choices. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. Before we begin, you should know I have over 150 Mass Effect Trilogy videos on my channel, including hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more Mass Effect, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So I talked about this topic briefly in yesterday's video, 5 details you may have missed in the Mass Effect Trilogy, but I wanted to explore all of the dialogue with Anderson and Udina in a single video. Once you've exposed Saren to the Council, Anderson and Udina will provide mission details for Therum, Pharos, and Novaria. If you speak to them after each main story mission, they will actually comment on Shepard's actions. This can be easy to miss because players might not think to go back to the Citadel and revisit Udina's office after every single main story mission. So let's take a look at the dialogue for each mission, starting with Novaria. During all of these conversations, Udina seems annoyed with Shepard's actions regardless, but it's clear from the Novaria report that he did not want the Rachni to make a comeback. Here's how the conversation goes if Shepard saved the Rachni Queen. Your Novaria report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. You should have finished them off. This queen isn't like the others. She's not interested in conquest or war. This queen isn't like the others. She's not interested in conquest or war. You weren't there, Ambassador. It was my call. I did the right thing. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Genocide of an entire species is a terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. If Shepard killed the queen, Udina agrees with the decision, but still sort of chastises Shepard because of the political fallout. Your Novaria report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I don't know what's funnier, you finding a species they thought they'd wiped out 2,000 years ago, or their reaction when they found out you finished them off. There's nothing funny about what I did. Relax, Shepard. You did the right thing. I don't want giant telepathic insects running around the galaxy. I just wish you'd been more discreet. I had no other choice. The Rachni were monsters. I couldn't let them live. I agree with you. I don't want giant telepathic insects running around in my galaxy, but you could have been more discreet. The Council keeps throwing around words like genocide. I have to go calm them down. After the Pharos mission, Udina's main concern is whether or not Shepard saved the colonists during the attack. If Shepard saved the colony, here's how the conversation goes. I saw your Pharos report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? I'm the one who destroyed the Thorian. I don't remember seeing you around. We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. But we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics, it's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. It's one of our major expansion regions. All in a day's work, Ambassador. Sometimes I envy you, Commander. Running around the galaxy doing whatever you please, never worried about the long-term consequences. No, you leave that to me. I have to look at the big picture, but usually it's not very pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. The Ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. The dialogue is slightly different if Shepard killed the colonists while they were enthralled by the Thorian. I just wish you'd save the colony. We can't afford too many failures in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. I would have saved the colony if I could have. But stopping Saren is more important. I'm out to stop Saren. 
Nothing else matters. Sometimes I envy you, Commander. Running around the galaxy doing whatever you please, never worried about the long-term consequences. There are no major story decisions during the quest to recruit Liara on Therum, but Odina is displeased with the destruction of a Prothean ruin. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. The rarest dialogue with Udina happens after the Vermeer mission. For most players, who will complete Vermeer last, this conversation will be inaccessible because you will meet with Udina and the Council after completing Therum, Pharos, Noveria, and Vermeer. However, if you don't save Vermeer for last, then you will get this conversation with Udina. Krogan on Vermeer? Hard to believe, Commander. Good thing those Salarians were there to back up your report. Between the visions and your warnings about the Reapers, the Council's starting to think you're a little unstable. What about you? I think you get results. As long as you keep getting the job done, there's nothing to worry about. The Council's starting to think you're a little unstable. Tell them not to worry. I have. Just make sure you keep getting results and we won't have a problem. The Council's starting to think you're a little unstable. How many more times do I have to prove myself before they start to listen to me? It's not personal, Shepard. Just keep getting results and they'll leave you alone. So there you have it. All of Anderson and Udina's post-mission dialogue in Mass Effect 1. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. I also have a bunch more Mass Effect videos, so why don't you check out another one, like this one I've linked on the screen. Shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.